What's happening? Brian Tong here, and welcome to Googleicious for everything Google that we can pack inside of a show each week. Now, Mobile World Congress is wrapped up, and really the focus is now on HTC. Their official reveal for the next HTC One is set for March 25th, but it looks like they've already been scooped by a kid from Schaumburg, Illinois. He posted a 12-minute hands-on with the device nearly three weeks ahead of HTC's own announcement. Now, the video shows a familiar leaked design that Evleaks has posted as a still image. The video also shows off a lot of the next Sense 6.0 UI, confirms the dual rear cameras that could help to enable optical zoom on smartphone cameras or could be used to shoot deep focus images, and the addition of a micro SD card slot. It also brings a simplified camera interface with six shooting modes, but it's a pretty darn good first look and shows off a whole lot more than even the teasers ACC is putting out on their own right now. But HTC, really, you guys have got to keep this under wraps better than that. All right, it's safe to say Samsung had a pretty busy week last week, but they're bringing more with the official announcement of their Chromebook 2 series notebooks in two sizes, an 11.6 inch model at $319 and a 13.3 inch model that also features a full 1080p display that will retail at $399. And its biggest design feature, it's faux leather stitching on the edges that really make it look like a notebook. Now you can expect to see these Chromebooks available in April. And a lot of buzz around cars and mobile operating systems this week after Mercedes, Volvo, Honda, and others announced that Apple's CarPlay, formerly known as iOS in the car, will be coming in 2014. Now, a recent job posting revealed Mercedes is looking for an engineer to work on a Google projected mode for integrating content from Android devices into an in-car system. Now, Mercedes will showcase an Apple CarPlay system at the Geneva Motor Show this week, but they also won't be platform specific and went on the record to say they would also offer Android support as soon as Google brings its own in-car infotainment system to the market. So it's good to hear, not that we're all buying a Benz anytime soon, but car manufacturers aligning with just one mobile OS and not others wouldn't be the smartest move, but this is a very young market, so we'll see how it figures itself out for consumers. And a lot of you asked or commented on the Google Nexus smartwatch last week that's rumored to be revealed in March. Here's something we're checking out from Android Police after they put together an article for the Motorola prototype watch that never became a real project, but was allegedly going by the name Google Watch with the official code name Gem. Now remember, at the time, Motorola's mobility division was still under Google before they sold it recently to Lenovo. Now these images were from 2013 and you can even see the USB connector on the wrist strap. This doesn't mean this is what the Google Watch will look like, but Motorola Mobility even tweeted that they will release a smartwatch of their own this year, because who isn't? And this could be a hint of what's coming from them. All right, let's check out some quick hits sticking with Lenovo a little bit. They've announced that they will be releasing a line of smartphones in partnership with Ashton Kutcher. You know, Ashton's a smart guy, but uh, yeah, I don't want a phone from him. Oh, what am I trying to say? Sweet! <laughs> what about mine? Dude, what does mine say? <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> what about mine? Dude! Also, Project Aura released a new video to let people know what they've been up to lately as their phone blocks modular smartphone concept continues to evolve. They partner with 3D Systems to help build some of the modules that will be part of the phone, and they'll also be announcing news for availability of the development kit in the near future. And also the guessing game for where Google's barge will settle next after it was ordered to leave Treasure Island looks to have found a home in lovely Stockton. Their rumored floating showroom, which might showcase some of their Google X projects, will finish construction at the Port of Stockton. All right, now we asked you last week to tell us what you thought of Samsung's announcements, and here are some of them. Ken says, in a word, lame. Due to replace my S2 and was looking forward to something innovative in the S5, but nada. Now, Ron Kerr writes in with, I was looking forward to the new Galaxy S5, but it isn't what I expected. The rumors on the internet showed a full metal case with no buttons and it looked awesome. I have an HTC One and it looks better than the Galaxy. Now, Ron, the reality is that rumors are rumors and they might seem like they're facts, but that's why you can't get your hopes up too high until you actually see what a company officially delivers. Now, Zoha says, can I ask you to stop hating on Samsung? I mean, it's so obvious you are not a fan. I think the Galaxy S5 was awesome and a lot of people would buy it when it comes out. I personally can't wait. Zoha, I'm happy for you, really, I am. But I called the S4 the best phone last year and did you forget that I raved about the Gear Fit? Look, you were one of only a handful of Samsung users that were so positive about the announcements, but most people were just let down. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's show. Email me at googleicious at cnet.com, or you guys can tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next week for some more of that Googleicious. Googleicious.